Good morning. My name is Jennifer Dowd, and I will be talking to you about the Mustang Heritage Foundation. Imagine this. You are driving across the Western Plains, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, and you begin to see horses just roaming around the land. You wonder, where did they come from, and how did they get there? This may be uncommon for you, but for that part of the country, it is very, it is totally normal. The Mustang Heritage Foundation was established to protect these horses from our growing population. The three main ways this foundation helps these animals is by partnering with the BLM, Business of Land Management, setting up adoption agencies, and helping to ensure the well-being of the Mustangs. Let's begin with the Foundation's strong bond with the BLM. According to the Horse Illustrated magazine, a little over 60,000 wild Mustangs roam the United States. It is BLM's job to provide enough land for these horses. The Mustang Heritage Foundation helps them by informing people about these horses. They fundraise by hosting seminars to teach people about the Mustangs. And with this money, BLM is able to buy acreage for the Mustangs to prevent overgrazing. Currently, there is 34 million acres of land untouched by anything else other than Mustangs, according to BLM's website, which in percentage terms is a little over 30% of the United States. Now, since there are so many horses to control, what do we do with them all? Well, the Mustang Heritage Foundation came up with a way, with an idea of adopting Mustangs out to people who want the challenge of taming a wild animal. According to the Mustang Heritage Foundation's website, over 50% of the Mustangs they brought into their holding facilities have been successfully adopted. A movie has recently been released showing the Mustang's ability to bond with a human and to travel 2,000 miles border to border with only three months of training. Parker Flannery, a Texas A&M graduate, is the guy who rode this Mustang 2,000 miles by himself with nothing but a tent and the clothes on his back. Flannery says, the Mustang Heritage Foundation is great and protects the rights of these animals, and that is why I did this trip, to show Mustangs can become great companions. Lastly, the Mustang Heritage Foundation always ensures the well-being of the Mustangs. As stated on Wild Horse Preservation's website, the government wanted to take more land away from these Mustangs. But the, Heritage, the Mustang Heritage Foundation fought against it and won. They also do weekly checks on the herds and keep them up to date on their shots as well as their wormings. We always want the best for the animals and we'll give it our all to keep their existence as wild animals, as written in Mustang Heritage's <coughs> mission. To conclude, the Mustang Heritage Foundation has been very successful with ensuring the best quality of living for the wild Mustangs. By partnering with the BLM, setting up adoption opportunities, and keeping the Mustangs medically up to date, we are able to experience these animals, whether it is really close or really far away. And it is all thanks to the Mustang Heritage Foundation.